The Japanese call it Kokoro. Uh, in Hawaii, they call it the Aloha connection, the Aloha spirit from the heart. And that's what this whole program is all about, reaching out. Not for you or me or us and them, but it's a we thing. We're all together. And that's what I applaud ADAP for doing it. NIPUM stands for National Youth Project Using Mini Bikes. Mr. Honda's uh, guidance with his vision and philosophy is that the youth are our future. American Honda role is to donate the bikes to us. We don't pay a dime for those bikes, so our role is to implement them and utilize them as tools to create behavior changes in our youth. So it's a behavior modification program. In exchange for your well behavior at school and at home in the community, you're allowed and able to ride this dirt bike. If you're a borderline kid, um, usually that role model can either uh, make the difference in you doing something uh, positive with your life or something negative. And where I grew up, I was the youngest. So I always had this idea that I had to prove something. He was a youth that came to us at the age of nine looking to be part of a group with his friends that his friends got involved in. I mean, you came in and at first it was a little intimidating because you didn't know anyone. How do you trust people you have no idea who they are? And that's really our, what our kids want. They just want acknowledgement. They want people to pay attention, to listen to them. And that's what NIPM provides. It provides an atmosphere where they feel safe to share with, their, with the staff person or the counselor what's going on in their lives at home and at school. And it opens the doors for them to, to grow and experience and, and fulfill their dreams. It so happens that you meet twice a week and then Saturday. So I mean, the time you really spend on the streets kind of limited. So that's always a good thing. And uh, I definitely look forward to all the Saturday trips. Well, Mario did stand out from the crowd. One, he was the smallest and the youngest youth in our, in our group, but he also had the most energy. So he brought this energy to the group that a lot of members didn't have, but they followed. I met Mario at a recreational outing in El Centro, California, where the Nippon programs would go there and meet and have a day of riding the Honda mini bikes. Mario came to me with his hat on backwards and really cool and he said, hey man, that was a cool thing. And I said, wow, you know. Well, I'm glad, Mario, that you enjoyed the program. That's exactly why we make this program available, to make kids like you happy. And he put his head down and he said to me, had it not been for this program, I don't think I'd be here tonight. I would either be in jail or maybe dead. We just hugged each other, we both cried, and uh, it really, really touched me. He was always uh, motivated to do his best in everything that he did. Whether it be basketball or volleyball or any other activities or competitions that we did, Mario was, was there um, in the front row. So he was competitive, and I think that's what stood out in Mario. I don't want to end up like the people I saw in my neighborhood. I don't want to work as hard as my parents do to barely make enough. I don't want my kids to know what it's like not to have enough to eat on Friday. And the list can go on, but I'm pretty sure a lot of kids that grew up where I grew up know exactly what I'm talking about. What I tell my youth is that they they really did all the changes. We, we were just here to simply guide them, motivate them, and inspire them to do what they're great at. These kids are all smart. They're all intelligent. They all have the power and the means to succeed in life. Well, I do hope that there will be people carrying out this legacy because we will forever have children. Children will forever need help. It's hard to, to stay in Nippon because if you are not willing to be a leader and take a stance and, and, and make the decisions that are best suited for you, then you, you won't continue at Nippon. 
So we get our outcomes three months into the program, while other traditional programs get the same outcomes at six months. So we do it at half the time. I'm going based off on all the uh, mentors we had in, in group. I think the mission was to uh, better ourselves. We had a uh, mentor named Cecilia, Ceci, and um, her thing was always big as to show the, the males how to respect women, which is something that I still remember to this point, and which is why uh, a lot of women find me charming. If all the efforts placed into this program, if only one child has been saved, it would have been worth every effort. And ADAP has saved many, many children. It's been amazing to be able to see kids that come to the program at nine years old, see them graduate from junior high school, see them graduate high school, and then go on to college. And just to see them and uh, graduate college is just an amazing accomplishment. I thank the good Lord that I was given the opportunity to be part of such a program, to see how it helped a young child to become a very significant contributing member of our community. And I feel that Mr. Honda is with us today. He's up there applauding and expressing his gratitude and appreciation to carry out his mission and his vision. The seed that he planted is being nurtured. And that's what makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Thank you to all those beautiful people who uh, give up their time and, uh, and really make the effort to try to help out the kids that you meet. You really uh, help us out, young, young America, so that we can uh, help each other out later. Kind of snow, snowball effect. I mean, that's the idea, so we should try to get it rolling. So, thank you.